Okay, folks, today I am down in uh, the west side of the Galleria in Houston, Texas. And uh, these folks called me because they're doing a little bit of work on the house and they had a roofing crew come out to replace some soffits, a trim, and get ready for the new roof. And the roofing crew actually discovered the colony of bees. Now, the colony of bees, the nest, is up here. You have to excuse the sun. Um, but the bees are up here behind the bushes, up inside that soffit space. But I walked around the corner and uh, the guy shows me all these bees bearded up on the door. He says, yeah, they just started doing that today. I don't know what's going on. And I take one look and right off the bat, I see the queen come crawling out. So she's in this swarm on the door. I don't know if this is an original swarm and that there's another queen up there in that nest. I'm not sure, but I freaked and I ran to the truck and got my queen clip and then come running back. And of course, now I can't find her. And I'm standing here like an idiot without my suit on. And one zipped out and stung me under my lower eyelid. So now I went and got my suit so I could retreat. But I'm going to look through this swarm and try to at least find this queen and go ahead and cage her. And then I'll go ahead and get my equipment and start setting up to remove the colony out of the house. Um, but yeah, that's uh, interesting. I walked right up and she was right out in plain sight. But I just didn't have a clip on me to catch her. Missed out on that opportunity. Well, we got her, folks. Um, yeah, crazy, huh? I, uh... Uh, I'm trying to see where she's at in there so I can point her out. There she's up front, down towards the bottom. I know this stupid phone doesn't ever focus. Hang on, let me try this. Let me set the queen cage down on the table there, and then maybe I can get it to, if I can tell it. There we go. Hey, we got some focus now. Um, she's in there, and uh, she's kind of small, but I think she's mated. Uh, she's not so small, I think. There she is right down towards the bottom, but... Um, I don't think she's a virgin, but yeah, that was nuts. I mean, I walked back here and the guy just said, yeah, they're hanging on the door. And it's like, man, that's an awful lot of them be hanging on the door for no reason, you know, and sure enough, there was a little open hole in the middle and the queen walked right into it. And I ran, I, I just told him, I said, watch her. And I ran to the truck. But of course, by the time I got back, she had gotten buried up under the bees. And yeah, then I stood there and stared at them long enough to get stung on the eye. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and offload some equipment, I think, and kind of think about getting set up and start removing the, the nest from the house. Uh, and then I'll probably go grab some dinner just so I don't get too hungry while I'm working. But anyway, this is cool. That's that's a first to just walk up and have the queen right there in front of you like that. So hey, folks, well, we got it opened up here. Uh, it looks like for the most part they're just between these two joists here. But up here in the corner they're starting to build on that side. And uh, also over here on this side they're building bunch of bees up in the space and then this whole area under here is all covered with them all the way back to the wall so we're gonna start vacuuming bees and cutting comb and uh, hopefully that queen that I caught was the only one and the rest of these bees are just silly stragglers so we'll see what happens here but we're gonna get into it as much as all we right, can folks we're, we're back out here on Sunday it's two days after I did this removal uh, I've left the queen cage this whole time because I didn't want to risk the bees absconding and it, it looks like they have for the most part taken to the box so I'm gonna go ahead and release the queen here for y'all to see and uh, then I'm going to jump over to this other hive and actually do a little inspection. Um, for uh, I'm afraid they have a disease, but we're not going to get into that right now. So let me go ahead and set the camera down here. You're all going to get to see some darkness for a while, and then I'll pull that queen out and show her to you. So we'll get a little bit more smoke just to keep them nice. They're not really messing with me too much. i got a couple flying around my face, but not anything real bad. I don't remember exactly which frame she's on. Now what I did on this hive was, uh, in an effort to make them be faster to accept, now look at this, see, this is good, this is very good, the bees are all over this frame, see I was afraid when I first put them in here the other night that, uh, you know, the bees weren't acting like they wanted to take to the hive very well and I was afraid that they weren't going to accept it and they were going to get slimed, but they're certainly accepting these combs, that's really good, let me set this down again. Here's our queen cage. Shake the bees off of it. Try to look in there. The queen is in there. Now make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. I just saw her at the bottom a second ago, but um, as per usual, I have no idea what you're seeing. So I'm sorry, but she is in there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, 
open the cage up here. Let me see if I can put this in the shade that y'all can see anything. Oh, oh. We'll get a good look. Maybe I'll just just watch it here for a second, and then on the when I put this video up, I'll put a box on her when I see her. But she's in there, and um, she looks good. I mean, she's still crawling around, acting healthy. So we're gonna go ahead and let her out here. Let's see if y'all can see this. I don't know where the yeah. Okay, there we go. There's the cage. All right, cage is in view. Bees are crawling all over it. There she is, right on the front. And down she goes. She just went in and watch all the bees are kind of covering up where she crawled down in there. And they're all happy to follow her now. So that looks good for this. I'm going to check to see if they're checkerboarding very well, make sure they're covering that bottom brood. I'm not going to show you all that because I need both hands. But this looks like for right now another good one I'm going to take. I've got a jar of honey there. I'll put a honey feeder on them just to help them out. And uh, yeah, looks like another good one.